Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? It is Try Hard Thursday. You know what that means. Obviously, we're try harding on a Thursday. Oh, weird enough. I was going to play Kali. But, I, you know, I'm actually okay with this matchup, believe it or not. Medusa versus Kali. I have no problem with it. He ults, I dash. If I mess up, then, well, that's on me. Well, I mean, basically, that's on me no matter what. No matter what the matchup is. Um... Trying to remember if I have any like announce. Oh, uh, I'm doing a 24 hour live stream. I'm gonna say this in every video leading up to the, the 24 hour live stream. Hold on, let me uh, 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 meditation. Um, I'm gonna say this leading up to the live stream in pretty much every video, but I'm doing a 24 hour live stream with a ton of incentives, a ton of overall goals, and a ton of fun basically just to be had for a whole ass 24 hours. And it's going to be. On December 10th, Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern is, is the, uh, the start. Eastern is, you know, if, if you don't know what Eastern is for your time, all you got to do is type EST no into your, your Google and go figure it out. If you don't have Google, well, then n n never mind, because if you don't have Google, you're definitely not watching this video. That's unlucky. But also, like, it's okay. You have jump. Oh. <clears throat> well. He stole the red, but at what cost? <laughs> it's, you know, it probably, uh, probably not worth it. If I had to guess, dying for red buff at the 40 second mark, probably not worth it. That being said, if he gets... You can see through the wall like I wonder if I could like actually see or if it's just I don't know. That's weird. I kinda want no. I don't think you can because I think they changed all of that kind of graphical stuff with inside rocks and inside like the foliage. I think they changed all the insides of stuff because of Lena. They said they had to do a major like overhaul of their graphics settings for maps in order to release her. So I assume that's probably just a visual bug. I don't think I could actually do it. So I'm going to try again real quick. Red buff. Oh, I can see blue buff from here. What the fuck? I mean, it's like definitely never useful. Because it's much faster to just jump and like tilt her camera down but at the same time it's kind of cool when you discover something like that even if it's not you know <laughs> the most useful aspect in the game it is fun are you auto attacking at red buff why did i hear you over oh that's why i heard you over here okay you are auto attacking red because you dc'd all right I'll pause. I'll pause and I'll, I'll just cut this section out of the video. All right, boys, welcome back. Game number two, if you even want to call the first one a game, you just kind of DC'd and, uh, and left me with my thumb on my butt, talking about nothing, completely, completely silent for the past 10 minutes. Because I waited the two minutes for him to D. Well, I waited the one minute for my pause to run out and then the two minutes for him to, or for the game to auto cancel after he's gone. And then another three minute queue. And now we're here after picking some bands. So yeah, it's been about like, it's been about like eight minutes. So here we go. We're gaming again. Uh, do I want to go mannequins? I'm just going to go Bancrofts. I like mannequins is good. Do not get me wrong. Okay. Do not get me wrong. I love going mannequins. What's the MMR difference here? God, hold on. My pop up thing on okay mmr thing is going to turn on we'll see the mmr i'm at 3199 he's at 2400 all right not bad 2400 mmr the diamond border so that's a respectable gamer that is a respectable gamer unless he's doing my blue in which case he's extremely not respectable I was going to say, I will end you. 
I'm not opposed to murder in video games. Definitely a necessary, uh, <laughs> necessary thing to add to that comment. All right, let's see if I can get this. Like I said, I don't have mannequins, so it's going to be a little bit iffy. Oh, actually, never mind. It looks like he's just going to give it to me. Going to go to his blue buff. That's weird. I mean, he's got mannequins, right? So, like, I definitely can't steal it. I'm not, I'm not insane. I'm not going to be like, oh, okay, let's go steal his blue buff against a mannequin's Poseidon. I'm not dumb, but... In the back of my head, I thought, what if? What if I can make it there in time? There was there was no what if. There's, there's no way. There was just not a shot. Not a shot. I was going to say... Ch oh, hello. I was going to say chance. I mean, you like never win, right? But you have beads. I have mannequins. I mean, not mannequins. I have meditation. You have, you have beads. I have meditation. You have... Uh, oh no, I got stunned. Let's not get stunned relic. And I have a let me heal half of my HP and mana and then continue the fight relic. You definitely don't win those. And in fact, I'm going to use it now. Strictly for the mana. So that I can get my blue buff before backing. <clears throat> um. Okay, he's level 5. Which means there's a gigantic kraken that's about to hit me in the forehead. Probably. The question isn't if the, the Kraken's going to hit me in the forehead. It's if the Kraken is going to kill me. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. It killed me. <laughs> I, uh, for some reason, I thought, ah, I'll be fine. It's a level one Kraken. I'm resilient. I'm a, lo I'm a level ahead. I have natural protections on my side. Nope. Nope, I didn't. Kraken still hits hard. Would have thought. Well, I'm pretty sure most people. That was stupid. <laughs> Ow, that was literally the epitome of idiotic. Look up idiotic in the dictionary and a picture of Kronos getting Poseidon altered is going to show up with my stupid face attached to it. But yeah. Oh, this is the most annoying part about fighting a Poseidon. Go ahead and beads. Oh, no beads. Okay, I almost died. I don't know how I almost died, but what hit me so hard? Is one hit me for 200? Is three hit me for 300? That chunks, dude. I didn't even I didn't honestly if he beads I die there I didn't even think it would be close that's kind of scary I uh my game perceptions off a bit right now how did that miss okay I guess he cracked into me. I actually have no idea why. Oh my God. My damage is crazy. I was going to say that one hit for 540, but that's two of them. I mean, that's still impressive though. Isn't that like like 260 damage for one ability at level 10 with one item that's that's a lot of damage just cracking hit me for 429 dude i think bancroft's like oh hello oh no i'm dead help help me not dead why am I not dead? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please. Bancrofts. Oh. Oh wow. 
Wow, that hurts to watch, dude. Bancroft saves me while my archers kill him. While we spread. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess that do be how it is sometimes. 3,200 MMR, not bad. Um, I guess we'll go into game number three. That was kind of a weird way to end game number two. But uh, let's be honest. If you get completely clapped up by a couple of minions while also thinking you're going to get the kill when you don't, that's pretty demoralizing. I've been in his shoes. I understand. The Rage F6 has happened. I'll see you guys in game. What's up, boys? Game number three. I picked Freya. He picked Deuce. I'm definitely at the advantage in the matchup here. No doubt about that. Apparently, and I could be wrong here, but apparently... Uh, they buffed, or I guess not, not necessarily buffed, but they quality of life tweaked Freya and Kamazots. I'm not sure how much I believe it, but they said they quality of life changed Kamazots and Freya to where when you alt that little section where normally, you know, you would think that you're untargetable, but you're actually not. Now you are untargetable. So you can alt. You can be a lot greedier with your camo alt or your Freya alt or something. And I'm not sure, like I said, how much I believe it. All I know is that they told me that. And, um, you know, I'm going to try it out this game. I'm going to try to be a little bit greedy. With my alt, that is. We'll see. I mean, I think... I think if they did actually change it, then it's good because they needed to. Because it's so not consistent with other alts when you jump or... Or, you know, get in the air somehow. It's really inconsistent. I think adding consistency to the game is really good. But that being said... It feels like one of those too good to be true moments. <laughs> so I don't know. We're going to find out today. Also, let me turn off the uh, MMR thing for you there. All right, I want him to like try to hit me when I ult. Problem is with Zeus, being really greedy about your ult kind of doesn't work because he can just detonate while you're in the air. So I'm going to need the juke, like probably his two. Like when his two is landing on me, I'll see if his two does damage by ulting. Let's go blast some of these I think that's the game plan. We're testing. We're testing. And th the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because Freya... First off, you if you pick Freya, you should literally never lose to Zeus, period. <clears throat> and second, I have almost double his MMR. So, and I'm not roasting him. I'm just saying, like, it's kind of not a fair game. Um, oh, that hit me from pretty far out. I should have ulted right there. Uh, excuse you. Why are you crapping on me? Please don't detonate. Oh! Alright, well, I stand corrected. He's way better than I am. Um, I'm also ugly and stupid. Uh, also fat and I dropped out of college. So, you know, he's just better than me at everything. Unlucky. <clears throat> Blue buff is mine. These aren't the wards you are I need about 150 gold to finish my, my ring. And considering the fact that he just killed me, I feel like he already has his. He doesn't. Oh my, wait a second. I just remembered. No wonder. I was like, why the fuck is he so fast and auto attacks so fast? It's because when you throw your two down, you get 30% movement speed and attack speed as Zeus. Why have I not made a video about that? 
That's cracked. Dude. I'm off. I'm off my my rocker right now. I've been gone for a while, right? You can't blame me. Can I have that? These. Oh my god. Oh, he died to mannequins? And my ult only has three shots? What's happening? This is four shots, but I only shot three and it canceled it. Dude. This is... Something's going on. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I wish I knew, but I don't know. Something's going on. I'm going to do Bull Demon at the four minute mark just because I feel like killing Bull Demon. To be honest with you, I came over here to kill these things and then uh, Bull Demon was just standing there. So I figured, oh, what the hell. I don't know. I don't know what K-Pasta means. Hey, what does K-Pasta mean? Oh, he said, I'm sorry. What's up? Oh, probably because I took Bull Demon at four minutes. It passes what happened. Okay, so yeah, it was definitely a reaction to me taking Bull Demon at four minutes with Freya with one item. And then also coming back to land with full HP like nothing happened. Understandable reaction. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's over. Deceased. I'm deceased. It was fun. Ha ha ha. Super entertaining. Good thing I have Bancrofts and I'm Freya. Never mind. He does more damage than me. Because he back then got tier 1D. I'm going to go more attack speed. Dude, his attack speed is so fast with his two down now. How long does that buff last? The attack speed buff? Four seconds? I think his shield is on the ground for four or five seconds. So I think it only lasts as long as the shield is down. That's still though. That's, that's fast. Or not fast. It's long. Don't use your one on that. Ah, frick. Use your two. Use your two. Use your two. I want to alt it. Two. Your two. Oh, it does work. Okay. We figured it out, boys. All right. You have no attack speed buff. I'm not scared of you. <clears throat> All right. Well, they actually did change. They did quality of life change the alts on Kamazots and Freya. So, <clears throat> greet up to your heart's content, man. It actually works. That's so sick. My 1600 MMR is showing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, it isn't. He's killed me twice. If you're a 1600 MMR showing, then what's mine? Um, probably just going to go Aegis. Or Detonate. <clears throat> I will say I would like to go Shell here. But, uh... Wow, your attack speed is fast. Holy shit. He got shoguns, and when he uses his two, his attack speed is so fast. I feel like it might already be capped. No, it's 1.97. You have almost a 2.0 attack speed already. Backing. He is just back. All right. Did I try to send the dude corner him? I feel like it's not going to work out, but he did just use his alt, so maybe it will. Ah, oh, the minion. Fuck. Bad 
All right. It still works. I ran away when the minion showed up. And he, I guess he just thought that I ran. But nope. The good old 180. Turned it right back around. <clears throat> okay, now we do it again. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That was very close. That would have been unfortunate. And also kind of funny. All right. Do I get super greedy and try to do it again with only 400 HP? That's stupid, right? Oh, he's going the long way around, man. He's going the long way around. Damn it. Okay, well, now we'll wait. We'll wait right here, then. Oh, God. He has ult. Oh, God. He ulted. Oh, gosh. Okay, we go Shogun's now. What's my attack speed at? 1.68 with Shogun's? Or does... Maybe the aura doesn't actually affect me while I'm dead? Maybe my attack speed will go up when I spawn. Yeah, 1.97. What's yours? 1.7. Then when you throw that thing down, it's like 2.1, huh? So it's still faster than mine, but it's not by that much anymore. Also, I really, really want to go Bancrofts. But if he's going Toxic Blade, maybe I shouldn't. But Bancrofts feels so good. What's your attack speed? 1.89. Can you use your 2? Okay. It's 2.27. That's not fair. Holy shit. Freya's not fair either, though. I just stood there. I just stood there. And we traded autos. And there was there was like actually nothing you could do. You know, I've been playing Freya more and more. And she's like really good. I don't know why more people don't play her. I really need the lifesteal though. I mean, I think that's a dub, right? The fact that he uses alt and everything like that. And I'm just kind of vibing. I mean, I used my alt too, but... Coming this way? Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, how do you know I was there, dude? How do you know why I was there? We were just staring at each other, I guess. You want the red buff, but I also want to get the feet. I think if I did red buff, that's GG's. I don't think I win late. GG, Giga Gamer. GG, Giga Gamer. It was a fun game. You showed me the power of Zeus. I'm going to have to make a Zeus video now because you actually slapped me up. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll see. Wow, well, that was game three, I think. I played Medusa, Kronos, and Freya. So that was game three. I'll see you guys in game number four. Yo, what's up, sexy Samalander squad? I'm back. I'm playing Hebo because he didn't ban Hebo for some reason. I banned literally six hunters because I hate hunters. And he banned four or pretty much five auto attack mages 
So <laughs> I think you can tell what we hate here. All the auto auto attack based super OP characters. Um, and Hebo's open. So he's probably going to play Fenrir. And if he does play Fenrir, my plan is to go Vamp Shroud because it's the tankiest starter item. Go Vamp Shroud plus Breastplate tier one and just try to live through the early game with, with his three. His late game, even though he does a ton of damage, I should be completely okay. But we'll see. He might not even pick Fenrir. But judging by the bands, we, you know, we clearly hate fighting the same shit. He's really thinking about this. Though. What the fuck? Actually, Kleena's not bad because her one is knockup immune, isn't it? Right? I think it is. All right. <sighs> Uh, I mean, I might still just go. I, I don't have to go breastplate. I'm not that scared. I'll still go vamp shroud because I think it's smart. But wait, vamp shroud's only five physical protection. I thought it was 15. It would have been better just to go mannequins or tainted steel, even. What is that when you upgrade it? 55. That's a big jump. <laughs> 5 to 55? I feel like it should be at least 15. Maybe 10 to 60 instead of 5 to 55. I don't know. That's just wild, dude. Here's Boomba's Hammer. So he started Boomba's Hammer with an HP Chalice and multi -box. I don't think I'm scared of you. Oh, he lived. Damn. That OP. HP Chalice plus multi -plot plus med. Did I say multi -plot? I did. Oh man, he lived again with one HP. I'm going in. I'm going in. All right, never mind. I'm gonna med here. Try to do his blue buff and get the heck out of dodge. He's not healthy enough to go through the wall, right? Ow. Low love, hot love. He is actually knock of immune in his one. Which is slightly annoying for me, but also like he's chugging potions right now just to stay in lane with me. And I'm feeling pretty good as is. I might alt this wave. To make him miss all this XP. Oh, you are lucky. Alright, well, we did alt the wave, so he's missing a ton of gold and a ton of XP. We're very far ahead right now. Not to mention the chalice he bought. It's a pretty... Pretty... Insane early investment. Like, so to buy an HP chalice before you even start fighting is crazy. Ow. Trying to listen for him, but I think he probably just backed. Right there. How much did that do? The three? At a hundred?
I really thought that you would be there. Really thought you were going to turn the corner. And then you didn't. That's okay. That's okay. I do wonder, like... He's going to have Boomba's hammer late game. So should I already be focused on anti-heal right now? Like going divine and what's that other item that has anti-heal on it? Fizz, the Fizz D one? I forget what it's called. His maxing is one. That does a lot of damage. So almost 200 damage that time. Traded from 100 previously. I just want to try to control the game right now. I don't really care about winning fights or anything like that. Just control the pace of the game by getting the buffs and making sure that he falls behind in XP. Because, like I said, I... I don't think he has a late game compared to me. Oh, well, I missed everything. But I got the buff. Like I said, that's kind of all I want to do. Oh, that ult is going to kill my wave. I got the kill on him. I I think Maybe I want to go breastplate. I'm th the only reason I'm thinking breastplate here is because I want cooldowns. I could just go Chronos pendant for the same effect. <coughs> In fact, because I'm not going Boomba's hammer, I can actually go Chronos pendant and breastplate. I think I'm going to do God, that does so much damage. Is one. A lot of people told me the first time that I uh, I fought a Kleena in duel. A lot of people told me they didn't know that they could break Kleena alt. All you have to do is auto it three times. It's actually really easy. If you just get a god that has fast auto attack chain like Kali or just build a ton of attack speed it is super easy to render clean all useless go this I'm gonna go blink obviously blink is gonna be good for me here doing some defense I'll go breastplate next got my cooldown out I don't have enough attack speed to kill that before my whole minion wave dies. He's actually really fast. <clears throat> or maybe I'm just bad today. That was a lot of damage. Damn, that silence is long, man. Silence is long. Also, I can't help but feel like I have missed every ability this entire game. Not having a good gameplay day right now. Which is bad. 
Any other day it would be okay. But today it's bad. I guess I'm just like AFK. I feel like there's nothing I can do here other than like sit right here and harass. Problem is he has more range than I do. Also incredibly tanky. Hmm. Oh, the med lived. He lived with the med. Blow, lava. Blow. I heard him backing, so I figured maybe I'd try my luck with a three over the wall, but to no avail. It's okay, though, because I can go get my breastplate now, which is huge. Actually huge. A little bit of defense. His one hits me like a truck. He's maxing his one, and I mean, everyone knows in his one does the most damage, but... Ow. Ow. To the wall, too? Eh, I can't get in there. I guess I'll just do red buff here. I don't have a lot of power or anything. I'm more just... Trying to set up for the power items later, like Rod and like Polly, maybe. Also, Divine Ruin got buffed to 110 power, so I should buy that, probably. Okay, I did hit that one. All right, we did a good, we did a good. I actually hit everything during that entire fight and it wasn't close. Imagine that. Imagine hitting your abilities and then winning a fight. It's a new concept to me, but I'm learning. It turns out, like I said, I do negative four and a half damage. To the Phoenix. Oh my god, he got this. Uh, I'm just gonna go Divine. 110 power. And he's going Soul Eater right now, I assume. I mean, it could be Devos, I guess, or Bloodforge, but Soul Eater makes the most sense. <laughs> that is so troll him trying to go into the wall 
and me hitting him below the threshold while he's just looking at the wall. That's so annoying. For him. I mean, it's great for me, but... It's annoying for him. I fucked up more. Help. Never mind. Okay. Thank you, blue buff. Thank you, blue buff. And thank you to my 42 MP5. I'm gaining mana so fast. Oh, and bull demon. Because bull demon has HP and mana regen on it, right? Yeah. HP and mana regen. So I'm getting so much mana back. That was really lucky. That was really lucky. And the fact that he didn't keep engaging when he had thorns up too. Was to my benefit. Because, I mean, obviously I'm not going to ult through thorns. That's a pretty bad mistake to make. But, um... That alt actually blocks my auto, and I really thought it was going to make me not get the kill. <clears throat> but yeah, no, so um, I'm really lucky that he decided, one, not to chase after popping thorns, and two, kind of be a little bit lenient on me in terms of just overall aggressiveness during the whole game. Not necessarily the fact that one engagement where he didn't run at me with thorns up, but more overall, like, he's not using the walls and dashing in on me as often as he probably should be. Just to be honest, I thought this matchup would be kind of a cakewalk. And it turns out that, uh, it's not... I mean, it, it's, it's easy, right? But, like... Easy for Hebo is is still impressive. You know what I mean? Like All right, I think we might be able to win here. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's unlucky. What? All the autos. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Like, these fights are close, man. Like, they're close, and I'm three levels up with a full item ahead. It's like... It's impressive. It really is. I think the knockup immunity on the one is a big deal. It almost guarantees that you get the silence, and then once you get the silence, it's pretty easy to land the the stealth hit, the two, and then after that, just alt. Anyways, good game. See you in the next one. Yeah. Hello, what's up, people? This will be the last game of the video. Uh, it's been a very weird Try Hard Thursday because I lost a couple games during it. My MMR actually went down, I think, during this Try Hard Thursday. I think I, I think I started at a 3190 and I'm ending it at like 3160. So it's been, uh, it's been this weird, be well. but that's okay. And by the way, the, the game that I lost when I lost hundred MMR, it was kind of bullshit. So I'm not adding it, yo, but 
basically, I don't know if he was cheating or not, but he Medusa ulted from right here. And I was standing right here and it stunned me, so. All right. Holy fucking Christ. Why are you so fast? Well, that's one way to lose an early game. Oh my god. Get away from me, you weirdo. Holy shit. Dude, I am not... I'm not having a good smite day. My stream today is most definitely going to be Apex. <laughs> it's a... Dude, a bad smite day on a tryhard Thursday is like... So cringe. So cringe. Started double chalice though. It's kind of my only saving grace. <laughs> he did get all three buffs and push minions under tower and probably got the XP camp. So this is gonna be a quite a hard game to win. I'm gonna say a really hard game to win, but I decide go for a fight. Alright, alright, alright. At least I have a stun. Hmm. Berserker shield's expensive, right? It's 1450. Gives a lot of stats, though. You're through breastplate. That's great. I mean, if you're like that far ahead, and trust me, you are very far ahead, why not just go for kills? Why not just get damage and try to get a kill or two? Because he really is. Like, he's infinitely far ahead of me right now. He's going to get level 8 off this wave, and I'm still level 6. I guess he didn't get level 8. He should have. Unless he didn't get the XP for something. In the game. Maybe I'm not dead. He actually didn't win that fight. Ah. Well, okay, so why? What happened there to where he, he didn't win that fight? Was it just because of the fact that he had beads and I had med? Oh, his ult did almost nothing to me. I only did 200. Probably why. Hmm. I mean. The Berserker proc there really helped me catch up in that fight. I'm hoping that even if he ults me, I can just like alt my feet and be fine with it. But more so, I'm just hoping that he back. 
because he got all three buffs the first round i get all three buffs the second round i feel like no, i've made it through my hardship this game and now it's just about not misplaying really poorly well i didn't really make it through my hardship he kind of threw his his win away because he went breastplate not the smartest Um, I wonder if I can do bold even. Alright. I mean, honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad. Alt for alt. Well, I'm the one with the pressure. I feel like it's pretty good for me. This is kind of a weird play. Because if it doesn't work out, it's going to be really bad for me. But if it does work out, it's going to be really good for me. Please let me back. Perfect. Now I get this and this and this. Okay, so it's going to be really good for me because I should be able to get red buff here. Hopefully. Like I said, if it works out for me. I get red buff here. I don't really care about walking through your three anymore. But I hold him in regen. And I'm just going to be like hyper aggressive. So it actually did work out for me and he just surrenders really you're you're less than 500 gold down i guess maybe when you buy double chalice and then go breastplate you're really hoping to get some sort of like early advantage to make up for it that's that's really weird man that's really weird i don't know but um, I think that's probably just going to end the video because I have a call that I have to take in five minutes. And, uh, well, I don't think I can fit in another game in five minutes when the queue time itself is four minutes <laughs> or, well, three minutes now. Unfortunately, I lost MMR during this video. Um, I mean, I'm still GM, right? I'm still like uh, somewhere around here, 20th place. Um, so it's not like I'm it's bad. It's just a little upsetting because it's very hard Thursday. You try to gain MMR and sometimes you lose it. It's whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, the energy was a little low today. I didn't have coffee this morning. And also, I feel like I woke up 17 times last night. But it's okay because tomorrow's videos are going to be better. Better than ever. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.